Hello everyone, this is Ambi. Today we will talk about PowerShell comparison uh, operators, uh, comparison operators, uh, in that we have equality operators. The first one will be so equality operators. Equality operators. So what is, uh, how many are they? One is, one is equal to one. Yes, that is true. One is not equal to one, but it's false. One is not equal to two, the equal, not equals. And then we have greater than one is greater than one. No, one is greater than zero, correct? One is less than, wait, two is less than five. Two is less than one, false. And now we have uh, greater than or equal to as well. That is one is greater than or equal to one. So uh, two is greater than or equal to one, correct. Now again, three is less than or equal to three. Three is less than or equal to four. So this is the equality operator. Then we have the matching operator. Let us clear the screen. There is matching operators. That will be like and match. Let's say bat man hyphen match bat correct let's say bat man hyphen like bat false if at all you have to use a wild character then you probably want to use like and you are don't want and if you are trying to match a bigger object to a smaller object and you may not ha have to or want to or need to use a wild character then go for like let's say i'm in a scenario where i have to use this and yes that is true let us uh, do that again uh, another one is pat hyphen match that correct oops match no, math that is correct the same way the opposite is batman I not match I can bat false because they do match there is bat in it then if I say what this was true I can say not it will be false so for most of the comparison operators uh, Microsoft operators if you have something like like then you have not like if you have match then not match true false so the opposite condition for uh, to validate the opposite condition too you will have an operator after that we have the containment operator that is for that we will define an array batman superman flash flash i will say jl contains batman does it yes Jail contains star false. So here wild characters don't actually work. Uh, when you're checking contains or containment operators, it's more like a membership. Uh, it is uh, these contains and not contains are mainly used against a collection or an array. You have a series of stuff. Uh, you have a whole list in that you want to check whether one particular stuff belongs to that 
uh, list or not. You have a department, you want to see whether one particular person with some name, a John, belongs to the department or not. So that is what it is. Containment operator. Then I can also say, let's say Batman in jail. Hyphen, okay. In jail, true. So here, instead of saying jail contains uh, Batman, that is subject and object, making the other way around. Object and subject. Instead of, if you don't want to type that much, you can just use this. This is again a containment operator. Okay, Batman not in jail. Yes. Wonder Woman in jail. Right? So that is the containment operator, and that is how it works. Then we have the replacement operator. Replacement operator is very simple. Batman dot replace B comma C. So I'm telling PowerShell to replace B with C. Let's see what happens. Catman. Uh, you can also do this. This. I can replace. I can be. I can be. That is valid as well. I replace. That is insensitive to case and case sensitive. That is if I do this. Catman. So, yeah, I mean, you can have fun with these depending on what your use case is. Then there is another one type operator. Uh, if you want to know what type of data something is or an object is, usually what I do here is let's say A equals one here. I want to say A dot get type. Right, it tells me what type it is. We want to take the other route. That is a is int so now b is one comma two b is system dot array true that is true b is not string that is true throughout this um, topic you saw that it is returning true or false true or false it is called boolean operator this is another operator that is uh, it will just tell you true or false one one is one now that you can't do because this is a system type comparison. Let me see, one equals one, true, because that's a true statement. Should I say NE not equals, that's false. So this is called a Boolean operator. So we talked about equality operator, matching operator, containment operator, replacement operator, type operator, and Boolean operators. Thank you for tuning in, have a great one.